Here's an interview on the Today programme where Nick Robinson confronts Prime Minister Keir Starmer about the optics of, on the one hand, removing the winter fuel allowance from millions of OAPs and, on the other, taking freebies and donations of clothes and football tickets. Let's see how Keir gets on. Now, the one that you started with when you became Prime Minister was that decision to cut winter fuel allowance for 10 million pensioners, including many who I think you would accept are very poor, albeit not poor enough to get pension credit. Is the trade-off, is the message, if you like, that you're sending to the wartime generation, this is the sacrifice the country asks you to make. This is the sacrifice you need to make. Well, the message I'm sending to everyone, really, is this, that I think that when the last government allowed the economy to get out of control, it was hugely damaging. Inflation went through the roof. Energy prices went through the roof. Um, and we didn't get the investment we needed into this country. We became the laughing stock of the world. And therefore, economic stability is the first of the first steps of this incoming government. Sure, but lots of people could have paid the bill to try and look credible on the public finances, and you chose pensioners. Well, you could have chosen not any people. You chose pensioners. Well, let me, let me and just... I'm wondering what your message is to them. Are you effectively saying you have to make the sacrifice? Other people have to make other sacrifices, but we need you to make this sacrifice. No, what I'm saying is this, that economic stability is the number one most important first step, that that will only happen if we deal with the £22 billion black hole that we were left by the government. This was not on the books. We audited the books and found £22 billion that now needs to be found this year. I could pretend it's not there. I could walk past it. In my view, that would risk losing control of the economy. By tackling it, we can commit to, amongst other things, the triple lock. And that means for pensioners, I can be really clear with them, that because we're committed to the triple lock, because we're taking these difficult decisions, then in addition to the £900 extra that they received this year on the state pension, there will be another 460 next year, and so on and so forth, mm. which is why I was able to say on the conference stage, as I did, that pensioners, every pensioner, will be better off under a Labour government. Yeah, but they're all going to get £300 less than they were expecting to get. You talked pr- about a shared... Those on, those on pension Prime credit Minister, forgive me, you talked about a shared struggle, but when I'm saying this is a trade-off, and I'm saying you chose pensioners to make this sacrifice, you seem reluctant to admit that you singled them out to make that sacrifice, and you did. They're difficult choices, Nick. Um, £22 billion is a huge amount Understood. of money to find. We've made, had to make other difficult choices to get to that £22 billion that we've got to find. But I've also got to face up to the fact that the NHS is on its knees. Pensioners rely on the NHS. Taking more money out of the NHS isn't going to help to get it back on its feet. I've got to recognise that public services are desperately relied on by pensioners. They are broken and on their knees, and I don't think we can take more money out of them. We've got to recognise that Buses are important for pensioners and others, and we've got to fix that problem as well. Part of the reason this is controversial, I wonder if you recognise this, is that as pretty poor pensioners are being asked to lose money, they think politicians are getting freebies. They think you're getting free clothes and free glasses and free tickets, free holidays, free stays in a flat, and they think... Well, we're being asked to sacrifice things. Can I just do... And politicians are not. Let let me deal with those, because I understand why you're asking questions. I understand why other people are asking questions. I'll deal with all three things you put to me as quickly as I possibly can. Firstly, on clothing. um, In a busy election campaign, as we've had this year, uh, where I'm across the country pretty well all the time, we have lots of people coming forward to say, I can help. And some people came forward and said, I can help by donating to get you clothes so you don't have to worry about that and get on with it. Um, But there's a principle here, isn't it? Let me just... No, just but forgive me. me, the principle that people are talking just, about just, is buy your own stuff. Yeah, hear, hear me out. Look, that was in opposition where we're running around. I won't be making declarations in relation to clothing again. Understood. Um, in relation to the second example you put to me, um, football. I've bought season tickets in the stand at Arsenal. I've had them a long time and I go with my boy who's 60. As a result of security, I can't go in the stand anymore. So Arsenal Football Club have said, be our guest in the director's box if and when you can get to a match. 
that actually is a ticket you can't buy. People say, well, why don't you pay for it? You can't buy a ticket in the director's box, but it means I can continue to do something which is really special to me, which is to go to football with my boy. Is it time to say politicians for pay for their own stuff? And is it time to say to Lord Alley, who's a long-time supporter of the Labour Party, who's no doubt doing it for all the right and best reasons, thanks for everything you've given us, but enough. We can't do that anymore. Well, I think in relation to clothing, as I've taken my decision, uh, which is that, you know, in opposition, it is important just to get on with the job of uh, getting to that election. We're in government now. We've turned a page. So there won't be uh, donations for clothing. There won't be any declarations there. In relation to other things, I think it's a question of exercising judgment. A culture secretary, for example, will be invited to sure. events Quite often, um, the support of a politician being somewhere is important for a particular uh, event or sport. But it's a question of judgment, and it's got to be clear, uh, it's got to be declared. And, and you, of course, have got to have the opportunity to then ask questions of us about it, and quite right too. Click here for Rachel Reeves being grilled by Nick.